Please, thank you, and you're welcome. They're all words that you use when you're being courteous to one another, and September happens to be National Courtesy Month. So today for What's the Buzz, we are talking about those situations where people need to maybe be a little nicer, a little more courteous. Well, joining us to talk about this today are friends of the show, Lauren Crocker with the Blaine Fowler Morning Show on 96.3 WDVD and Mimi Brown, a motivational speaker and author. Thank you for being with us. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Hi. Hey, Hi, Tati. Hi, ladies. Hey, girls. All right, so let's start <laughs> with a simple question. Where do you think that people could be more courteous? Would you say online, customer service, at work? Lauren, I'm going to start with you. Online. We are done with the keyboard bullies in 2020. Go away. Be nice. What do they always say? If you don't have something nice, don't say anything at all. I think we should abide by that online. <laughs> I could not agree more. There's so many, you know, bullies online because there's no real, you know, backlash. You know, you they would never say it to your face, but they'll say any old crazy thing online. Mimi, what do you think? I totally agree with Lauren. And I also would say courtesy in the store. Um, since we are now with social distancing, mm. I think there's just a level, a heightened level of courtesy that comes with that. And it's how you say it. Like, I didn't realize there were these placards on the floor and this lady was like, back up. And like, she pulled her hand back and all she <gasps> had to do was say, can we follow social distancing? And that would have been enough. But then, I, of course, I wanted to get an attitude with her. But I backed up because <laughs> I like life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it does catch you. It catches you off guard. It definitely catches mm -hmm. you off guard. So now let's switch gears and talk about something that's a huge pet peeve of mine. Courtesy on the road is something mm -hmm. that you sometimes see. A lot of times you don't. Do we need to be more courteous to each other on the road, especially on the freeways? I say yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does it hurt to give a little wave, especially if I let you in? Like, it's just, I, I try to wave to people. Like if, if you're letting someone cross, maybe they could give a little wave. It just, it just means something just a little, is it that hard to just give me a little bit of a wave? I agree. I agree. Mimi, I, I go out of my... yes at the same time. <laughs> oh, yes. Because I go out of my way. Like if I let someone in or if I'm kind of cutting in, I'll throw my hand up and I'll throw it up until I see them make eye contact with me. But mm -hmm. when they don't do it to me, I'm like, oh, so your mother didn't teach you right? He... Yeah, no Maybe way. I shouldn't take it back to their mom, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people are just cranky on the roads in general. But now here's another place where some courtesy is never a bad idea, especially when people are messing with your food. Restaurants. Do we need, you know, what do you guys think about this? Do we need to say please and thank you? Is that enough? Or is it more I'll have and I want? Mimi, I'll start with you. I just think we need to give our servers grace. They are in a tough role. If you think about it, they're even putting their lives on the line by serving us with COVID, but we just need to be kinder to each other. Um, I have a two-year-old niece and she's learning please and thank you. And her new thing is if you don't say thank you or you're welcome right away, she'll keep saying it. She's like, here, Nama. Here, Nama. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. She was like, let's get on. Let's all get on the same page. Lauren, what do you say? Same thing. I worked in the restaurant industry for 16 years and I talked to some of my friends who are still in it today and to do that job is difficult enough. And then to do it with everything going on, just remember they're people too, and they're working and they're just trying to make money and just be nice. It goes a long way. It really, really does. And I'll also add to that too, Tati. I think it's how you say things. It's not always mm -hmm. what you say, but can you just the tone of voice that you use? Uh, are you looking someone in the eyes? Like the same courtesy you would want to be given. You know what, Mimi? That's a key thing in being courteous in general. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. And I would recommend saying it as nicely as possible when someone is dealing with your food. That's somewhere where I think that that should just be common sense. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, ladies, thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks, Tati. Always a pleasure, Tati. Right, Always. We're the courtesy crew. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> We're extra polite today. <laughs> there you go. No, you go, Lauren. No, you go, Tati. No, you go. <laughs>